welcome to natural skin get school in this uh, video i'm going to show you quickly how to mix essential oil with water for different purposes so you can either want to use it as a spray or any other but this video will show you the proper way um, to mix essential oil with water i know i've created some video in the patches and alcohol but this i will be using uh, professional solubilizers so I'm going to try different experiment here so whatever works best for you is what you should go with so my first solubilizer is Stego Soft 61 this solubilizer is very good at uh, dissolving your essential oil with uh, mixing your essential oil with water so before you mix your essential oil with water you will first have to mix the essential oil with a solubilizer of choice okay then after that you're going to add water to it so watch me as i use tiggle soft to hard to mix essential oil with water so what you do mainly is just take your essential oil for this one i will be using neroli essential oil so i want to mix neroli essential oil with water so i will take my essential oil as usual i will use one percent of the neroli and I'm going to use, so if you use equal parts of the essential oil and equal part of your solubilizer. So I would use one, one gram of Neroli essential oil. One gram of Neroli essential oil, that's a bit too much, but just for showing the purpose. Then I'm going to add equal amount of my solubilizer to it. So I'll add equal amount. Then I will mix it together. So what I expect is for my solubilizer to have, you know, the soft the essential oil. So after mixing it together, the next thing you will do is to add your water. Take a soft as a way of mixing your essential oil with water and when you add water to it, it may turn cloudy. So but don't worry in the next 24 hours, that cloudy mixture is going to stay clear. So you're going to do a lot of uh, they're going to give you a thorough mix. As you can see, it looks like the solubilizer has, you know, solubilized this essential oil, okay? It has absorbs it and has turned it into like a soapy texture. That's what you want. Then you can now add your water to it. okay so in this case as you can see my essential oil i expect my essential oil not to suspend okay but because tegosov has a bit of a, a surfactant you know property you will notice that it may be foaming up a bit but don't worry about it it's going to settle in few hours okay so what you do don't worry about this, it will settle in a few hours. So just pour that into your spray bottle. And that's, and that's it. Give it a few hours or 24 hours at most. This will have stay clear. So this is how the first way to okay 
to mix essential oil with water. As you can see, we have a clear mixture. Even though it looks soapy, give it 24 hours, it will stay clear and it won't bring out any soap. So that's our first experiment using Tigo Soft. You add equal amount of this solubilizer to, the, to an equal amount of your essential oil. And in our, in our case, we use Neroli essential oil. So equal amount for both will stay solubilized, then you can add water. That's how you mix oil with water for spray. So for instance, this now is good to go. You can see no oil is suspending on the top, right? It's good to, to go, it's good to be used as a spray. You can use it as a spray. Don't worry about it. It's going to settle and it's going to stay clear in the next 24 hours. Now, let's try another solubilizer. The second option is Capri Capri Glucoside. It's a solubilizing surfactant, popularly used to make soap, but you can also use little amounts, okay, to solubilize your essential oil. So let's take another. Then we we'll use Neroli essential oil also. So I'm going to use uh, one gram of Neroli essential oil. And I will use one gram of this, of this solubilizing surfactant. Then just like we did in the previous test, we will mix this together also. Then we'll add, after mixing the surfactants, your solubilizing surfactant, which is also a solubilizer, capri capri glucoside, right? With an equal amount of Neroli essential oil. Let's add water to it to see how what it comes up with. So we're going to mix it as usual. Then you pour into your spray bottle. No need to shake it together, it's already solubilized. As you can see, this is my test. What you want, you can also shake, it doesn't really matter. On this side is what I use Capri Capri Glucoside for. It's clearer, right? But it has more bubbles. This is what I use Tegosol for. It's a bit cloudy, but it's going to be clear in 24 hours. It has less bubble, right? So that's the that's exactly the end of our experiment. So if you want to mix spray, right, you can use any of this surfactant. But my preferred surfactant for making spray is Tegosov. Tegosov is it has less um, surfactant property, so it will not have too much of that soapy. As you can see, if we look up, the bubble here is tiny. The bubble here is bigger, right? So if you want to, this is good. Capri Capri Glucoside is good to solubilize your essential oil when you are making a shampoo, for instance, or other cleansing products. So you can use this as a, as a solubilizer for your shampoo. Okay, for instance, if you want to make peppermint shampoo right now, you can use this, okay? Or that's a fact, and as a matter of fact, to 
solubilize meaning to dissolve your essential oil so that's the function of this okay as you can see the bubble is big it shows that it's meant for cleansing products why tego soft 61 there are very rare surfactants can be used to solubilize your essential oil for spray okay if you want to make spray if you want to mix essential oil with water for spray this is what you do so take equal amount of your tego soft okay with equal amount of narrowly of you any of the essential oil you want to use mix them together then hard water is going to mix up just like i showed and it's going to bring you this in the next 24 hours this is going to clear up so that's about it you can look in the description box below for a link to uh, a professional recipe for making for using this one to make spray but the next video i will do now is how to use this to make a uh, essential oil body spray so let's go to that video now don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos on this channel i teach you i teach you how to make different different skincare products and that's what i do best so if you want to improve your formulation skill this is a channel for you so don't forget click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos thank you so much for watching